This is what I notice. Then then what do you think? What are you really saying here? What was good? How can I develop that? Right. Okay, so you can take a screenshot of this. This is, this is very, uh, very practical and very uh, uh, what, action oriented. You can use this. What we are saying, what we should stop saying and what we should say. <laughs> so instead of can I give you some feedback, here's my reaction. Right. So essentially stop saying you, you, you and say this is what I noticed. This is what I saw. Then then what do you think? Instead of, why did you do this? Right? Yeah? So, remember that thing we, did, we, 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 we spoke about, right? The natural error like the color black people? Yeah? So let's, let's try to eliminate that. Yeah? Instead of, good job, here are three things that really worked for me. What was going through your mind when you did them? You are trying to internalize the good thing, right? So you just said, good job. What does that mean? What was good? <laughs> so, what are the learnings the next time your boss tells you, good job, just rebound back with, thank you so much boss. What, what are you really saying here? What was good? What did I do well? I said, no, that report was good. Okay, great. What was good in the report? <laughs> so what are you trying to do? You are trying to narrow it down so you know, uh, this is what he means is good. Therefore, that's what I should replicate, right? Because if somebody said that was a good report. Now, what do you take from that? How do you replicate it? I will understand, but what do you do if somebody said good report? What is that? Was the font good? <laughs> was that fact that it was good? No spelling mistakes and grammatical mistakes? What was good? Are you, are you getting this? Yes, we got that? Yes, please, please, please. Yes. Clear? Okay. So here's what you need to do improve. Instead of that, here's what works for best for me and here's why. So instead of saying the things you need to improve, we'll, we'll decide that I'm going to say that. So you say, here's what works best for me and here's why. And maybe here's what didn't work for me. And instead of saying that didn't really work, Oh, when you did this, I felt a bit upset. I, I felt, I felt, right? Oh, I didn't quite get that. Instead of you need to improve your communication skills, here's exactly where you started to lose me when you were speaking. <laughs> right? Yeah, at about this slide, when you were talking on this topic, you lost me. So now the guy can turn back and say, boss, so you're stupid, so you will never get it. Right? No, hopefully you won't say that, right? Yeah, but we are getting to, we are narrowing down to figure out exactly where the problem is. Have you realized, lots of times we make very blank, very blanket statements. You're great. How do you replicate that? <laughs> You're awful. How do you stop being awful? You need, it's a classic thing a lot of leaders say, yeah, you have to improve. Huh? Now if you tell anyone you have to improve, will anyone disagree with you? If I tell you you have to improve, will you disagree with me? If you tell me how to improve, will I disagree with you? No. Because we all know we have to improve. But you telling me, Sanjeev, you know, training could have been better. Now, how can I develop that? Now, end of today, we'll ask you to give us some feedback, right? Now, if you write a statement saying, Sanjeev, the training could have been better. It wasn't up to my expectations. What can I take from that and improve? Are you understanding the point? What can I take from it? Now, classic mistake that teachers make with students, right? And what would the teachers say? Absolute waste of time. Parents say, absolute waste of time. <laughs> Any parent doesn't know that the children should study more? I know that. <laughs> right? Yeah. Then you say, so teacher, so how, what should we do? How can we bring bring this to my? Now, isn't that obvious? Then do I have to go for parents' day and stand in a queue for three hours to hear that? No. Do you think what's the point of the feedback? Absolutely. Zero, right? But as leaders also we say that sometimes, right? You come for the appraisal, you have to improve. Yes, boss, I know. <laughs> what should I do? Improve with you! <laughs> yeah? So what's the learning here? Get to concrete things. Specific. If you tell me, Sanjeev, you didn't, you, you told us to stop for the break at 10.30, you went down till 10.45, that wasn't good. Ah, I can take that as concrete. So here, we are not saying here's where you need to improve, right? So that's also IRE. We shouldn't say this. But what they're saying is, here's what worked for me. Here's what I thought was good. Here's what didn't work for me. Here's where I didn't understand. Here's where I, I didn't feel motivated or persuaded. No, you always share your experience. You don't say, I didn't feel motivated because you are a bad motivator. <laughs> are, you, are, you, are you understanding the difference? I didn't say, you know, 
you come late to work each day because you are not disciplined. What I can say is, when you come late to work, it impacts me this way. I get very upset. I get very angry. Could you tell me what's happening? Why are you coming late to work? You see the difference? So I'm not using words like you're coming late because you're not committed, because you have a bad attitude, because you're not disciplined. That's what we are saying. The I -I. Is that okay? All right. Awesome. Good question. Any other questions? Not to, not to sink in, right? Yeah? Is it okay so far? Too much? Yeah, okay? Brain is okay, Adrian? You want to recognize a person for uh, three? Yeah. It, yeah. Very good, very good, very good. Do you have to recognize a person for doing what they are supposed to do? So let's take an example, right? So now Melinda is habitually late for work. You are supposed to start at 8.30, she comes in at 9. Alright? So every day it's Melinda, late again, late again, late again, what's happening, what's happening. One day instead of 9, she comes in at 8.55. Hit it. <laughs> Should I appreciate that? How many say yes? I should appreciate that. Come on, guys. Do you look now? You want to appreciate? Do you look? <laughs> I would appreciate that. I said, Melinda, I'm so happy. Today, you are five minutes earlier than you normally arrive. Give her the small win. Now, do you think tomorrow you could come a little bit earlier? What do you think? What do you think the response will be? Yes, positive? Do you look? Yeah? It's like this, right? Take, take, your, take ourselves. How many of you have set the alarm to wake up and when the alarm rings, you switch it off and go to sleep again? How many? Yes? <laughs> Never? <laughs> Good. Right? So let's say I habitually get up at 7 o'clock and if I set the alarm for 6 and the alarm goes at 6, the chances are very, very, very high that I will switch it off and go to sleep again, right? Because it's too much of a jump. So if I want to eventually wake up at 6, I need to, for the first day, set the alarm at 6.55, wake up, give me that win, give myself that win, because I won, I did it. Next day, I tell myself, okay, can we make it 6.50 now? All right, and little by little, I get to 6 o'clock. Are you understanding the difference? 